So when we're hitting these three quarter type of shots, how are we regulating our distance? How are we managing that we're getting the ball pin high? Well, part of it's gonna be backswing, right? Obviously club choice is part of it, backswing is part of it. And then it's also the speed of our rotation, the speed of our arms. That's another part of it. So if I'm going from 50 yards, I'm gonna be using my 60 degree wedge. My backswing is gonna feel somewhere in this area right here. And then I'm gonna feel like I have a normal type of rotation on the way through, not too fast, not too slow. As I then move into, let's say 80 yards, maybe I'll go to a 56 degree and I'll feel like I'll make somewhat of a similar motion, maybe more of a three quarter motion. And then I'll, I'll feel like my rotation is gonna be about the same. Now, let's say I move up just a little bit and I go to 90 yards. I'm gonna still feel like I'm gonna go 75% on my backswing, but I'm gonna feel more speed on the way through. So I have multiple ways of changing how I'm gonna regulate my distance control and how I'm gonna regulate uh, my spin as far as the faster I swing, the more spin I'm gonna have access to. So if I, if I find myself in situations where maybe on a back pin, I want less spin, I'm gonna swing my body a little bit slower. If I find myself in a situation where I want access to more spin, pins in the front, maybe it's sitting in a bowl, I wanna fly it past the hole and spin it back to it. I'm gonna take a little bit less, less club, so more loft, and I'm gonna swing a little bit faster with my arms, with my body on the way through. That's gonna get me access to more spin. Now, I'm gonna to continue to change clubs as we get further and further away. So maybe at 105 yards, I'm gonna grab my 52 degree. Okay, as I grab my 52 degree, I know that I can take a 75% type of a swing and it's gonna go about that 105 to 107 type of a number as long as I continue to maintain my normal speed with my body. So I have multiple ways of managing my distances uh, through club choice, through length of backswing, and also through how I rotate, how fast I rotate on the way through. These are three great ways that I want you guys to practice, be able to adjust, figure out what feels best to you. Are you do you feel best just rotating the same distance, same speed back and through every time? If so, then just change clubs and maybe you're one of those people that carries four wedges. If you're not, maybe you carry a 58 and a 52 degree. Maybe you only carry two wedges, okay? If you do that, then at that point, maybe you're one of those people that just really likes to manage their speed and they like to slow it down or they like to speed it up, okay? They like to be very syrupy on the way through or you go a lot faster if you wanna hit a 58 a little farther. So there's a lot of different ways to manage your speed, but those three ways are the best ways that I've found to manage your speed. And it just takes a bit of practice for you to really understand how to get um, your body in the right spot, how to get your backswing in the right spot, and then what you feel most comfortable doing. Because at the end of the day, you gotta feel comfortable doing this, okay? This is not something that you just pick up out of bed and watch this video and then the next day you're better. You gotta practice it a little bit. I've given you the tools to be able to um, understand that these are the three best ways to do it. You gotta go put the work in and do that practice. Find what feels most comfortable to you. But those are the three best distance regulators that I can give you.